everybody. Good morning. I'm Craig. I'm based out of Cleveland, and I go all the way down to Pittsburgh, all the way out to Erie, Pennsylvania. That's my territory. Joe right now is in Cleveland, and he's making an announcement in Cleveland, and I was asked by the Vice President to come here today. I have to read this before I can talk loosely, so either I can read it real slow or real fast. But I have to read it first. It's company policy. The company continues to evaluate its business profile, which includes all assets. The store as a part of a series of actions being taken to reduce ongoing expenses, adjust our assets base, and accelerate the transformation of our business model to profitability. As a part of the plan, the company has made the decision to close this unit. The store is expected to stay open until October 1st, 2017. Please understand that the closing was a difficult decision. It's not a reflection of you, but an action driven by the business needs. The company and I are committed to working with you to make your store transition throughout the closing process as smooth as possible. Due to the closing, unfortunately, all jobs within this building will be eliminated um, if, when the store closes. You may be eligible to transfer to open position with an, uh, another SHC business. Your leadership will be critical during the next step in the closing process, which involves preparation for the ex execution of going out of business sale. Kmart store operation and liquidator company will begin the next in the next few weeks um, with more details to come. We plan to open the store today as scheduled, taking care of customers and serving the community continues to be our main focus. For now, we operate the store as usual. No changes to our established hours, policies, procedures. So with that being said, <coughs> the liquidator is going to come here July 10th. And you guys are going to start the liquidation sale July 13th. Okay? We're going to open the store as business as usual. If any media comes in here, the media relation number is at the service desk. We're not allowed to talk to them. The second piece is, is um, hunting license, Western Union, and lottery. We're not going to add any more tickets to the machine. Those three things are going down. Shop your way rewards, smart plans. Still, it's a full go all the way through the liquidation pump. All, all the way through the li liquidation. There's a thing called the Warren Act, which is law because of how many people work in this location. Everybody's going to sign it, and that means the company cannot terminate anybody prior to that date unless it's a violation of company policy. So <coughs> that's what's going on. Now bring those around later today to have you sign your copies of them, okay? For those of you that are here. The other thing, the blowout sale that starts this Sunday, you guys are not going to participate in it. So the blowout sale is no more. What, and instead of calling, the last thing I hate is when a schedule is posted and we cut it or we change it. It's just wrong to the associates. I told Deb to leave the night crew. Those people wanted to work those hours. Let them work the freight. Sign a little bit of ad there is. And um, that will clean the guys cut current with the back room or pull from the overheads of the store going into Sunday morning. But if there's somebody that doesn't want to work that night or you guys decide to cancel it, that's between you and... Well, I'll go to each one of them and see what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, but that's up to, to you. Okay. So, what questions do you have for me? At least it still runs way away, Pam. Okay, layaway stays open. It's payments only and pickups. We put signs on the front door that says no new layaways. What oh. about leasing go? There's a lot of signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that, okay. That's still open. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Could, could ask me any I have a question. What about our trucks? Are we done? Completely done? No, no more no. trucks? No, the truck 
trucks are a disaster. Next week it will be business as usual. With how many trucks a week? Two? Two. The following week you'll probably get four to eleven. Trucks? Yes. Within two weeks. Yeah. The, as soon as the signs go up on the building, you'll increase probably 50 to 70 percent a day in volume. The 29 hours for part-timers, that will be lifted by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So in the system, that will get lifted. That way you can schedule them 40 hours a week because you're going to need everything you can. So as far as how we are, we were on a crunch for the payroll that no longer exists? Because we... It does until we get into Sunday. Okay, after Sunday it's... For the next few days, yes. T today and Saturday, if I said that, I'd probably be a gentleman. So, <laughs> I, I mean, you can call it, but as soon as you get to Sunday, it doesn't matter. Okay. Because you guys are going to be in the biggest scramble, because it's like you guys are worse used to what we're doing right now, then all of a sudden, with how the people come in, it's incredible. You, you how much you guys will do in volume, it's insane. It's just like Christmas. So, how you have that date set as far as October, is that, um... You can bend either way. Either way, if we sell a whole bunch of stuff? No, you, you'll have so much merchandise in this place. They ship merchandise all the way up t to you until six weeks before close. So, so it could uh, be a little longer, or just that's it that day? What's that? The closing, the date you said. It actually October. could get extended. But the Warren Act, I believe, I haven't read it. I think it's September 27th. They can't. Um, they, yeah. they can't close any earlier than September 27th? No. That's long. Okay. The other thing, too, um, I put a newsletter because a lot of people are going to have questions in regards to. Um, what they're entitled to. If you're a full-timer, I assume you're a full-time. It says pricing. Okay, if you're full-time, there's a special package you'll get that explains what's going on. But, there's... Honor about... I'm sorry. No. Honor about October 1st and the employment terminations are expected to begin on or about September 24th. You will be separated from your employment with the company on September 24th or during the 14 day period beginning on that date. So not until then. September 14th? 24th. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. The 24th. It was June, July, I mean July, August, September, so that's 60 days. Then plus, I would assume you're full time. I would assume you got charity, so you'll get offered a uh, package at the end of that. And how the package works. If you're full time, um, your paycheck, insurance, everything remains the same after you leave here for however long the package is. So it's just like you're working like you are right now. Okay. So, so actually, let's say you'll probably stay here until the end. I would say the liquidator will keep, keep you, and then your package will kick in. So that's going to go all the way until October, November. Like that. Okay. If you're full time. Okay, this is the other thing too. Vacations. If you have any vacation time, the company will pay you for that. Okay? If you have any personal time, you have to use the personal time prior to the store being closed. Can you look into that for me, Dad? Thank you. I, I, it, it doesn't tell us, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't specifically tell us what we Well, you used one day, I think, right? It was like four hours. Four hours, yes. And then, because another one picks in August. Yeah. I mean, but I've never used any of my personal time the whole entire time, I've, the four years I've been here. Yeah, so. that's it. But you lose it. Does it lose it? Okay. See, I didn't so know that either. <laughs> okay. What, what happens, I get five weeks vacation. I use three. Mine doesn't roll. I lose two weeks every year I'm doing this. Okay. My personal time, I've never taken my mother, I mean it doesn't matter. I've never taken a personal day, a holiday since I've been doing this. Uh -huh. You lose it um, February 1st, it, whatever you haven't used, it is um, okay. salary non-accept.
So, but then again, on the flip side, every um, three months that go by, you do get one personal bag. So, going into 2017, that makes sense to you then? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have meetings throughout the day. Anybody has questions, please come and find me. Okay. My name is Craig. I've been doing this since I've been this tall. <laughs> and this is the lovely story I've walked in and done this to. And it's the worst. I mean, there's nothing good about it today. Did you work on the one on the, the, the original store up in Michigan? That wasn't the original. I mean, not the original, original but the... Medina? I believe so, yeah. Medina Super K. I worked in four stores up in Detroit. Oh, okay. I came down in 91 when Medina Super K opened. Okay. And then um, I had my first store. I was running a $44 million store when I was 29 years old. Whoa. When I was 34, I was running a $76 million um, Super K that was number one continental US oh, wow. in the US when I was 34. And then um, I stayed at that location because of my, I had kids for 13 years and now they're teenagers and I started doing this five years ago. Oh. But I've been in three states, 12 stores, I've been around. I got one more question and I'm sure everybody probably wants to know this too. When are you announcing publicly about this? Because. Um, I guess we kind of want to know when our customers are going to start um, asking us. Okay, your customers coming in, we're not allowed to say nothing. No, that's what I'm saying. No, what, when is it going to be But you're interrupting me. Yeah. I mean, as they come in, we're not allowed to say anything. They will get released tonight to the general pu pu public. Okay. And if media relations will find out, they probably already will be find out this morning and they could come in here with the camera truck, that type of stuff. And the second piece says, I sent an email this morning when I arrived in this building. So like the online orders, all that stuff should be turned off by Monday morning because you guys do an incredible, I didn't mean to cut you off you you either, but I just wanted to answer your question. Mm -hmm. Gophers and all that will um, be turned off to totally at this store. Because right, I, I don't know this store, but I would assume the online orders are, are probably a lot here. Yeah. And that's going to release a lot of tension for you. The other thing, too, is um, the resets you guys don't have to do, except for the back to school. Sherry sure, tried taking them out of the system. <laughs> told me I could. He <laughs> <laughs> told me he could. <laughs> yeah. But um, the back to school layouts you'll have to, but in any updates or anything like that, all you have to do is just keep everything categorized like that. If you get a digital photo in the next two weeks, take a black piece of paper and send that that in. Okay. You guys can go, but it sounds like me and her just had a lot of questions, okay? Okay. Come on, Charlotte. PLCs. PLCs. Your PLCs. Um, if there's no PLCs, not a lot of PLCs, then I'm out So that's fine. Um, for Sunday. Okay. What's up to you? Okay. Um, okay. Um,
a small ad, I mean, I can just come in my normal time, you know, or whichever. Whichever you want to do. Yeah. Because that's why we're coming after midnight, because it's turned out next week, so. Now that's we're not going to do it, right? Me? We're not going to do the, we're not going to do the blowout. It's just. Do you want me to tell her not to come in? Yeah. Just not to come in at all, I guess. I, I don't know. That's, that's, it's like a brand new company. It's just too. Yes. I would just tell her that the blowout's not happening this weekend. Right. That's it. And you had her something else next week? Deb, did you schedule her something else next week? What? Did you schedule her something else next week? Um, well, originally she was scheduled for Sunday at 6 a.m. Right. Um, I could bring her in for cashier or something. She, she registers, she's a registered train? Yes. Let's, let's do that now. I can come in at my normal time on Sunday. Oh, sorry. Well, that's what. Yeah. We're going to change in the system now. That's why I can. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 6 to 2.30 then? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay.